So hi guys, so this is my second video and now we are going to see Max which is introduction to trigonometry, one of the toughest subject you can say. In the Max, not Max as a tough subject, in that one, this particular portion I can say uh, because like in this one we can't see numbers often like just sin theta, cos theta, triangle, that right angle, the triangle. So this, but even though that one will be a little bit bored, but this one will be, in some, some places will be interesting. Okay, so now instead of going with, first let me give you a basic idea. First, let me say who is the father of this trigonometry, who gave us this trigonometry is Hipparchus. Hipparchus is the person who is father of this trigonometry and as well as he was the one who proposed trigonometry identities and all over the formulas and he is a Greek mathematician uh, and one of the, the most main reason why we are having this lesson is because of him. Now, the basic thing of this trigonometry is right angle. This right angle triangle, that is what the basic thing. We, we will be seeing this right angle triangle only. So where in here, this thing will be right, do a bigger size. Okay, so here it is actually right angle and now this triangle will be A, B and C. Okay, so here we, this one is right angle triangle and the side which is opposite to right angle triangle is known as hypotenuse. So the opposite side to the right angle, not to the right angle triangle, the opposite side to the right angle is known as hypotenuse. Let me write everything in a short form. Okay, hypotenuse. Then, now you should be considering either angle A or either angle C. Anything else, either or. This one or this one. Okay, so here let me consider A. This one, the, the angle which is being considered by you should be written as theta. Okay, so here, now, the opposite side to this theta is known as opposite side. Yes, right, because the, this is actually the angle which is opposite side to this angle is opposite. So it will be like a little bit similar, right? The name and as well as the name of the side. So here it is actually opposite. And in this will be hypotenuse. And hypotenuse you can mention by either H or HYP. I used to represent by using HYP. Here it is opposite. And here this is actually the base for this angle. Okay, so you can write this one as base. or adjacent which is A, D, J. Okay, like this you can mention it. Okay, either adjacent or base, anything is actually suitable. You can use anything else. Okay, now this trigonometry is actually having six ratios. That means uh, each angle is actually having six ratios. Okay, before that, let me say you that trigonometry can be divided into two. First thing, oh my gosh, I did Okay. So, trigonometry. So, where this trigonometry can be divided by two parts. First one will be tri, trigon. Second one can, will be metri. Okay. So, this trigon can be further divided into two, which will be tri and then gone. The next is metri. Huh? Only for the one. Only that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So here this one can be easy. So this. So this one can be uh, further separated into tri and gone. So where tri, the meaning of tri is three, we all know. And then here gone, gone refers to side or either angle. So let me uh, write here uh, side itself. No, and as well as angle. 
we will be seeing a more uh, nano one heptagon like that one okay so he, next is metry metry means measurement measurement okay so where which means now you are just combining all these meanings now then three side measurement that means the one and only shape which is having three side is triangle so the so the measurement of three side so this trigonometry is nothing but the relationship between sides and as well as the angle we can find the, the measurement of the side by using angles itself that is what the speciality of this trigonometry so where as we said that it is having six ratios so each each angle is actually having six ratios leave this one these two are actually having six ratios so number one will be cos theta next will be sin theta next will be tan theta here still three will be there that will be cosec theta So first take the right to sine theta, then cos theta, here cos sec theta, here sec theta, then cot theta. Okay. So where the reciprocal of these things is actually. So where the reciprocal of this sine theta will be this cosec theta. Then the reciprocal of this cos theta is sec theta, and the reciprocal of this tan theta is cot theta. So where which can be written as one by cosec theta. Next is which can be written as one by sec theta. Here then the next thing is one by cot theta. Here also the same thing, which is actually which can be written as one by sine theta, one by cos theta, one by tan theta, one by sine theta, one by cos theta, one by tan theta. Okay, so we got it. Now they are having further some formulas. So this one can be written as. The formula of sine theta is actually opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse. Then here for cos theta, here it will be adjacent by hypotenuse. So hypotenuse side is this one, and the adjacent side is this one, this one. Then here opposite will be this one, and the hypotenuse will be this one. Next is tan theta. So for the tan theta, there are two formulas. First will be sine theta sine theta divided by cos theta. Next is which can be further. A uh, class simplified, like you can substitute the sine theta's value and then this cos theta's value. Then which will be opposite by hypotenuse whole divided by adjacent by hypotenuse. So which is further that you can some classify, like you can just strike out, strike out these hypotenuse. So then you will be getting opposite. By adjacent. So this one, this one is a formula for tan theta. This one is a formula, and in this one is a formula. Next is for cosec theta. So for cosec theta, the, you can write the as I said that the reciprocal of this sine theta. So which will be hypotenuse by opposite. So hypotenuse by opposite. Next is like just making it into vice versa. Next is here, which will be same. Hypotenuse by adjacent. 
okay so here for the tan theta we are having this one this one so where this one can be written as or you can just write focal which will be cos theta is equal to cos theta so here this one will be you can write as cos theta by sin theta for this cos theta or you can also write cosec theta by sec theta i guess so here for this or uh, for this cos theta you can write here adjacent by opposite so you can write for this cos theta adjacent by opposite so that's it so this is what the formula for these things is